Good morning, everybody. Um, we, uh, I am Sudhakar. Um, I head the product team here in uh, William O'Neill, and it's it's a it's a great day and um, privilege to be talking to so many of you. I'm glad so many of you have joined in today. Um, we'll just wait for say another two minutes, maybe max, and then get started. Um, guessing there are people who are still uh, trying to join in, finding the links, etc. So we'll just give them two minutes and we will get started. We'll not delay any further. And um, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions. We will try to address as much as possible. The key would be to um, give a quick overview of what we think from the product and how we can really use the product. Um, uh, most of the questions we'll try to answer, but in case the, we run out of time or something, we'll definitely get back to you on that. Um, but let's park the questions for the end because um, most of the questions would uh, definitely get answered while we are on the demo. And if there is anything left out, um, we'll definitely take it at the end. I mean, just to um, avoid breaking the flow, nothing else, but uh, definitely something that I want to cover as much as possible. Okay, um, well, 11.3, I think let's get started. I'm, I, I guess if there are any more uh, who are joining, uh, they can hop on uh, while we get started. Um, so good morning, everybody. Like I said, uh, my name is Sudhakar. I head the product development here in uh, William O'Neill, India. Um, thank you very much. I know it's a working day uh, and during market hours, uh, I know all of us have a lot of uh, other priorities as well, but I'm glad uh, so many of us could take time out for this session. And I would definitely make sure um, we, uh, there is enough takeaway for the time that you spend with us today. Right? And um, I hope everybody is doing well given the pandemic. I know all of us are sitting at home and um, working and doing best we can do. Uh, having said that, the market is doing great and I hope we are all making uh, good advantage, taking good advantage of all the bull run that we are seeing. Okay, so the key agenda for me today would be to kind of quickly give um, give some idea on how we really use this product called MarketSmith India, right? The key thing is it is a tool. It's a full-fledged tool, right? So there is there is a lot that is there in this product, and many of us actually, uh, for various reasons, are not really aware of all the complete power of this tool, right? This tool is built with a lot of research and analysis. Uh, our founder, William O'Neill, has spent many, many years. We have been in the market doing the same thing, tracking equities across the globe for over 55 years now, right? So the data graph that we are going to see is something which has been there for many years. It was trademarked in the 1970s. Um, historically, it has been primarily an institutional product. Uh, the best thing you would realize is a lot of our fund managers in-house, as well as um, portfolio managers from the likes of Fidelity use up our institutional product. And now we are glad and happy to introduce the same thing for our retail investors and in India as well. Uh, obviously, this has been there for almost four or five years now, but many of us still um, do not know the power. And I thought maybe this is a good time to really discuss what all can be done using this product. Um, not everything can be done under the globe, uh, but having said that, there are many things which can be done. And what is important is we need to know what is really required because there is a law, there is a, I mean, it's like knowledge, right? There is, there is this immense knowledge everywhere, but what is needed to you is what is important. You want to spend and uh, spend your time uh, productively to identify the right set of stocks, the right entry points, right exit points. That is what we are focused on rather than having everything and anything uh, which everybody else is providing. That's not the key. Our whole methodology founded by Mr. William O'Neill William is about saying what are the key parameters that you need to look for in a particular stock. And that is what you want to see on the screen. And that's what we will be focusing on, right? Because if you start reading and uh, trying to check everything and anything, then there, there are way too many things and you really will get confused. And there is no one set of rules for anything, right? So CanSlim is a rule-based approach. And we believe that there has to be rules uh, to really do well in the stock market. Okay, so that's the premise with which we will start. So what I want to do now is maybe um, there are four real um, segments in this product, which you see as idealist, evaluation, market outlook, and model portfolio. 
Now, idealist, like it says, it helps in screening the best stocks. Evaluation, we give you an analysis of all the 4,000 plus stocks in the Indian stock market. Market outlook is our take on the market. So we have a very good equity research team headed by Mr. Mayuresh Joshi. So he and his team are involved in uh, both market outlook and the model portfolio also, right? So they are the ones who are actually uh, taking care of uh, adding and removing stocks to the model portfolio and sending out daily market comment uh, to all our users, which is definitely very, very handy. So yeah, that's the four segments that I want to cover today. Uh, what I'll do is I will actually start with model portfolio. The idea being, uh, if you are a beginner, right? So let's target the beginners first. If you are a beginner into stock market, what do you really want to know, right? That's where it is because I know these sophisticated users would have a, would want to do a lot of analysis on their own and they have read, they have really gone through many things and they have their own reasons to spend more time and uh, do a lot more analysis than a beginner. Now, but what should a beginner do is what I want to target first. Now, if you are a beginner, all I would say, say is there are two things that you have to really look at. One is the model portfolio. The second is the market outlook. These are the two things that you need to look at. Now, if you go to the market, mod, model portfolio, now model portfolio is basically run, like I said, it's run by uh, Mayure Joshi and team at this point, right? So it is a CanSlim selected stock, the stocks which really meet the CanSlim criteria, which was developed by William O'Neill. Uh, CanSlim is nothing but a, a acronym, which basically uh, the way they evolved this whole methodology called CanSlim was to really study all the past winners over decades. I mean, we're talking about five, five six uh, decades of research, right? In fact, we have case studies from even in the early, um, maybe 100 years ago also, right? So what we have done is we tried to identify saying, what are the stocks? Uh, how did the stock look at that point in time, right? And what are the key parameters? And that we try to develop and say, okay, that's basically the can slim. Here we're talking about uh, C means current earnings, A is annual, uh, N is anything new. It could be new, uh, new, uh, new high like the market is making now, or it could be new CEO, any change in the management, a new product. It could be anything, right? Similarly, S, which is supply and demand. Uh, I is institutions, right? Um, lead, L is leader or lagard, and M is the market condition. Now, what we do is, what I would recommend is if you are a beginner, all you have to do is come to this section called model portfolio, India model portfolio. We have currently about 17 stocks in our current holdings. You can see that there are two views that we have. We always have a mini chart view, which basically tells what kind of chart it is. And if you want to see a tabular view, you just have to click on the table thing here on top right. So you can see the tabular view also. In this case, you can see all the stocks. You can also export. You, you can do all of that. Now, this is where you need to come. And what you do is you look for current holding, which is 17. You need to find out which are the actionable buys. That's basically the stocks which are still in the buying range, right? You can also look at recent additions, which tells you which was the recent, which was the stock which was recently added, recent removals, right? There's nothing that we removed recently. And you have buy watch list and a sell watch list. Now, what is this? Now, buy watch list is, are the stocks that we are closely monitoring and might add. So the way we look at is first thing is this is a techno funda approach. So what we do is we identify good quality stocks that which are fundamentally strong. And then we wait for the right technicals. That technicals help us to enter at the right time, right? Entry and exit is one of the primary rules of investing. If you make a mistake in entry and exit, I think you can really go wrong. So that's why we say you have to make sure you enter at the right point and exit also at the right point. So that is why we would, we would say that these are stocks which are fundamentally good. We are keeping it in our watch list but we are still waiting for the right entry point. So that's what the buy watch list is. So if you are tracking a stock and you, you are not getting notification quickly, so you know that on a daily basis, you know these are the uh, stocks that we are watching and you can also take position as soon as the stock breaks out. So that's the idea behind uh, having this here. Similarly, sell watch list. 
if we see that there is a stock which is uh, weak, then we can actually uh, park it in sell watch list and whenever it breaches a particular support or a level or something then we will get rid of that that's the idea behind sell watch list so a new investor can just come in he can actually spend his time on actionable buys so these are the stocks which he can he or she can actually look at in terms of buying for example i go into rain industries you would see that the stock was added on 18th may and it is just about 1% up since the time we added. So that is what it says, right? So that's how you need to identify that. So this is still within the buy range. And if you want to look at the report of uh, this talk, you can just click on updates and results. There is this addition report here. You can look at the detailed addition report, right? It will give you the complete rationale, the buy range, et cetera. Everything is given in this report. So this is where you need to come. So that's the idea behind. So you know, so if I come in first and I don't know which stocks to buy, we would say we probably you should look at these stocks, these three stocks at this, at, as of today, these are the three stocks that you need to really think about. That's why we call it actionable buys. So that's kind of what we want a beginner to do it, wherein they don't have to do a lot of research. They just, maybe they, they don't, they're still learning. They just want to follow the, uh, experienced people. So that's how you can look at it. If you come in, if you click on this tab called commentaries, you will also see all the addition reports. So here, when we say adding one stocks, click on it, you will find the complete addition report here. The Sonata software stock, which was added on 26th May, you can see the complete report with buy range, uh, O company overview and everything else over here. Similarly, you can also see removal notes here. And we also give you a reason why we are removing if we are removing, right? And at the end of the day, we also send you a note about uh, the portfolio, right? So a quick note on what the portfolio did during the day. So that's the portfolio report here, right? So you, this is an easy way for you to come. Okay, you know when to, which stocks to buy. These are the three stocks to buy, right? Once you've bought them, you, you can track them using the, the comment market commentary here, right? So addition removals are notified either by uh, email or an app notification. So if you're using an app, just make sure you are you have enabled the app notification from Marketsmith India. You need to do it from your mobile settings. So once you're done, you will get notification in real time uh, about addition, removal, et cetera, right? So that's the way to go about for any beginner. Now, though you are a beginner, you have realized that, okay, these are the stocks that I'm going to really invest in and I'm going to spend my time on. But once you've invested, you definitely need to know, keep track of the market, right? So that's another key aspect and very important aspect, I would say. So what I would recommend is to know what exactly is happening on a day-to-day -day basis, right? All you have to do is come to the second uh, tab here, which is market outlook. Now, this is our daily and weekly analysis of the market, which uh, our equity research team would provide you. Now, if you click on this, you see on the right, there is pre-market, which is basically a pre-market commentary, which is sent at about 8 a.m. every morning, right? So that is the time when you will get all the uh, updates for the day. You have a big picture which comes post-market covering the uh, day's action. So that's, now this is yesterday's. We also have reports, which is a lot of reports that our research team publishes. It could be anything like this, right? So we have swing trading, weekly big picture. Uh, there are top stocks. Uh, of 20, uh, something which we recently published was top stocks from uh, 2021, right? So FY 2021. So you have all the top stocks with 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 all annotations, charts, uh, analysis from our team. We also have something on the BS, uh, BSU Bank Index. So you can see that there is uh, any highlight from the RBI governor's speech. So all this gets covered here. So you have a lot of reports uh, that we publish here. So on the budget, it could be anything, right? Our RBI's MPC meet. So if you are looking at a Diwali pick, for example, more trading Diwali picks, which is something we publish every year. So all these reports are available to you here. So this is, um, there is no specific time uh, as and when we see anything interesting, our team would write a report and publish it here. So that's another one. And then finally learning articles. Now, since we are talking about beginners, you definitely want to learn. Right, Bill's key agenda was that you need to really teach people to invest rather than just keep um, giving them ideas. Right, one has to at the end of the day learn and 
who better can manage your your hard earned money right you will have to spend some amount of time and one way of learning is here so we send out a learning article every week so on a saturday morning we send out a learning article so one small article for a week and not a it's a quick read and if you can follow this every week uh, i'm sure with time all of us would get a bet, get better and if you are keen on reading all the old one obviously it's all available here you can read the old ones uh, many people ask me saying what are these uh, bases why do you count them when to sell right or oh, i see that there is people are selling or oh, i missed an ipo what do i do now what are these tight patterns right all these seven secret of secrets of successful selling right these are all articles which many of them have been written uh, by our portfolio managers and uh, william o'neil himself right so all these are really really handy so you can spend some time on reading this um so this is whenever you have time you can read it and master the art of investing but otherwise what definitely something that you should inculcate is quickly read the pre market on a day, on a morning and a big picture at the end of the day and these are not very big so it will not take you too much time it will give you a quick idea about what's actually happening in the market on a day to day basis the other thing is obviously the big picture on a friday uh, if somebody is still short of time you can what you can do is you can read it on a friday because that covers the whole week also so on a friday evening you can read the big picture to understand what happened in the market during the week these are things that will keep you updated so that's what i would say for a beginner so you track the model portfolio and then you track the market using the market outlook on a day to day basis now coming to the sophisticated users and even for beginners right i'm not saying that so beginners start from here but then yeah the next step would be how do you really evaluate a stock right so there are two things that we need to understand one is evaluating a stock second is identifying a good quality stock so idealist talks about identifying a good quality stock while evaluation actually helps you to analyze a stock now for example we will look at evaluation so somebody tells you okay fine uh, i think i like um, say escorts now there are so many people giving so many ideas now is it practical to really go in depth of each and every stock i think it's difficult and given given the kind of time we all have we all are busy so you don't want to end up spending all your time uh, researching each and every stock that you hear here in the news or in the uh, newspapers or any other journals right so the best thing is if somebody tells you about a particular stock all you have to do is just search your say let's say for example i'll take cdsl right so i just go to cdsl i can quickly search here so that this is what we call it as a data graph so one thing one is you can scroll but other thing is you can use this arrow here on top right corner if you can see right you just click on this you can actually see a enlarged view also now this uh, i we would call it as a, a data graph which was trademarked i was telling in the in the 1970s right the idea was to present all the key relevant information to take a decision on stock investing in one particular screen now it's very easy for you to print it out you can even uh, say, take 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 a print out and draw right on it etc right so if you see this it this gives you a complete picture of all the fundamental data, key fundamental data that you are interested in right and the chart obviously covers the technicals also so that is the idea behind this so one is you can either look at it this way right and in this in this uh, screen itself you can look you, there is a search bar available on top so you can switch between stocks so that is also possible right you can toggle between daily weekly or monthly charts so if you want to see a larger picture you can click on monthly chart Uh, ideally we would recommend weekly because it gives you decent amount of um time period to analyze a stock and if you are looking at intraday then you just have to change this uh, you have an option to look at 1 minute 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute 30 and 60 minute option here so you can switch between those also so there are multiple options here you can select the periodicity right if you want to print it you have the option to print also so all that can be done in the and large view but anyway let's go back to the normal view so what do we cover here so you come here you want to know if cdsl is a good buy or not now in this case right on top 
we have something called as a master score. At any point of time, if you don't know what is the definition of any of these say, EPS strength, price strength, master score, you just click on them and a small pop up will appear like this, which will give you a complete definition of it. Right. So that way you know what exactly we are talking about. When you're talking about master score, what exactly it means. Right. All this is available here. You just click on that. Right. And you should also, one of the things which is very handy is also these I tags here. Wherever you see this I, that is basically additional information. You can click on that. You will get more information on that particular topic. For example, your I talks about many people ask me what is OH, OOL, Blue Dot. All these things are available here. So even there are some more additional reference material that you can click here and go and watch them as well. Right. So these I tags are very, very handy. So at any point of time, we are always available, right? If you have a doubt, you can drop us a mail or you can call us and we will definitely answer. But there is nothing like an instant response, right? So for any instant answer, I think this is the best place. So you just click on these I tags wherever you see, you can read what exactly they mean. In case you don't find whatever, what is available, I mean, is what you're looking for, you can always reach out to us. But it's a good thing to know because it just tells you uh, an answer immediately. Right, so that is the idea behind having these I tags uh, in many places. You can you can also see these, um, like I said, if you want to see the complete data graph, you can also um, open this or close this to see the key fundamental data here. So that's another thing you can do, right? So coming back, so if you are evaluating, the first thing I would rec recommend is please read this sentence here, right? And there is a plus mark, just click on that. This will give you a quick idea about the stock that you are researching and it will tell you if you really need to spend more time or not. Now this one, for example, it's a CDSL as it talks about the operating revenue, right? It has annual revenue growth of 16%, right? It's outstanding. Pre-tax margin is 61%, ROE is 14%. Right? So these are things which is already included here and it tells you very clearly that overall the stock has great fundamentals and technical strength to stay in the moment, which means it it's covered both fundamentals and technicals and tells you that it is a great stock. So then you can spend more time on this stock. But if for example, let me look at some other stocks, say Scott's. I don't know how, what it's going to say, but let's look at it. So now I click on this. Here it tells you very clearly that the overall the stock is lagging behind in some technical parameters, but great earnings makes it a stock to examine in more detail. Right. So this sentence itself here tells you, okay, one is the master score. It tells you what are the good things here, both in terms of fundamentals and technicals. And it also gives you a kind of conclusion thing. Okay. Is it, do you need to spend more time on this or not? Right. So that's a quick way in 30 seconds, you know, do you want to spend your time on this stock or not? So that's the idea behind this commentary here that we have. Right. And right below it, you also see that there is a mention about model portfolio stock. If a particular stock is in the model portfolio, it will tell if this message appears where it says model portfolio stock, it has been up about 88% since the time we added, which was on 30, the 3rd December, 2020. And if you need to know, uh, look at the reports, like I said, you just click on this, you have the addition report. And if the stock has been there with us, then every week we will write a small note telling you about what the stock is looking at at this point. For example, 28th May was the last, last, that was last Friday. So every Friday we updated, we say the stock made a new high during the week on high volume, which is a good sign. It has an RS of 87 and AD rating of A. It is trading 16% and 30% above its 21 and 15 day only. So we, we are at a gain of 90% in the stock. So this tells you if there is a weakness or if we are thinking about exiting or something, it, it, this will tell you that. So that's the idea behind this. So the analysts are following them closely. Every Friday, we check all our portfolio stocks and give a quick note. And whenever they announce their results, we also give an earnings review. So this is Q4 FY21 earnings review. So so after, so after every time there is an earn, uh, earnings announced, you will also see the earnings review here. So all this is available here for you, right? So this is an interesting thing. And if the stock is moved out of our uh, model portfolio, even then the older reports will still be available. You will find it in the details section. So you, if you go there, you will have a reports and you will find it there. Now coming back on this top strip, you also see there are a few icons here. There is this blue dot, which basically tells that CDSL is part of the blue dot screen. It also tells you it is part of growth 50. It is 
part of our model portfolio and it is also part of Miravni trend template. So, so if you look at any of these ideas, like Mark Miravni's trend template is also one of the very known um, uh, screens, right, which we have. I will take you through when I go to screener. So similarly, we have growth 50 and blue dot. So whenever it appears, it meets the criteria set for those screens. It also tells you here that this stock is part of these screens. Right, so on top itself, so that the idea is that when you come here, you immediately know from the master score and the commentary about the stock, what we believe. We also tell you if it is part of any of the list. And we also, there's another thing, which is we, which is something which we recently introduced was the surveillance and uh, red flags. What if there is uh, something not very great about a stock, right? So there is a red flag here, if you notice. Uh, I don't know how many of you have noticed, but let me say, let's take what, um, I, let me just check Yes Bank. Yes Bank does not have. Yeah, here you go. So there is a caution note here. So this basically tells you, so we have added about um, all these, um, say around eight red flags that we have added. So you would see that NSC comes up with the ASM and a GSM list, right? If a particular stock is part of ASM or GSM list, you will see a red flag here. Similarly, if it is a high debt company or no, no institutional holding, a penny stock, a high promoter pledge, low liquidity, or if there is a decline in institution sponsors or institution, uh, in, in the number of shares they hold. So if you see any of that, we actually give a red flag. So kind of helping our investors to know that there is something that is a cause for concern. So we kind of flag the red flag for them. Right? So that's the idea behind this caution symbol here. So, so right on top, you will see all this information. So even before you move to the chart, just in the top two, three uh, sections, you will realize that we have covered a lot about the stock. So that is the idea behind this whole um, uh, uh, visibility here. We want to kind of make sure um, using the visual aspect, we convey all the key elements of the stock. Right? So that's what it is. Now come moving on to the second part, which is the gurus. You would see that you we have about five legends named here. Right? You have William O'Neill, Warren Buffet, Peter Lenz, etc. Right? And we also have a percentage. Now what we have done is we have studied a lot of the parameters that these legends were looking for when they were investing. Right. For example, Warren Buffett, right? All of us know he is into value investing, right? So if you want to know if CDSL meets the parameters that Warren Buffett would look for when he is investing, right? So if you want, so you, you will see that we are saying 93%. So 93% of the parameters that Warren Buffett would be interested in, this stock meets at this point in time. That's what we're trying to say, right? And you want to know which are the parameters that we are talking about, just click on that. You will go down. You'll see that there, that there is a checklist here. So click on Warren Buffet. So these are the things that he is looking for, right? Something like a ROE of greater than 12%, sustainable growth of greater than or equal to 15%. All this is what he's looking for. And there are about 16 items that he looks for. And of that 15 parameters, there is a pass. So you see that there is a tick mark against all of them, except sustainable growth, which has got a cross. So except this, this stock is meeting all the other parameters. So this is another way of looking at things. Similarly, you can look at William O'Neill or Peter Lynch, right? So all of them have different, uh, different parameters and criteria. And another very interesting thing that I also follow is the custom part, right? So if you have your own way of analyzing stock and you have your own parameters, then you can also set your custom, custom screen. Just click on custom. You have this filter option here. You can select, pick and choose whatever is your um, parameter that you are looking for and click on save changes. So once you click on save changes, those things will appear here. And it will also tell you from your point of view if that particular stock is meeting all or not. Right. So I just said some five of them, which says that four out of five parameters passed. So group rank is not great. So that's the only red flag I have. Otherwise, it is all green, right? So that's another thing. So you can either set your own or you can use the, the legends you follow, right? So that's the idea behind having this, right? So that's the top. So from till here, 
we could without even going down into the details you would realize that we are able to kind of decide on saying do i do i want to invest in this stock or not so we are trying to give as much information as possible especially visually right at the top section itself now coming down you are obviously have a detailed chart we follow high low close chart right uh, you have the option to sell change the periodicity to daily weekly monthly one important thing if you guys want to make any changes to the settings there is this wheel right next to daily which it's called it's called the chart settings wheel you can you can click on this you have the option to enable or disable say pattern recognition tight areas key price ranges blue dots and eps line right so if you don't want to see any of these you can uncheck them if you want to see all of them you can check you have the option to do that you also have the option to add additional moving averages for example by default we keep 50 and 200 day moving averages on daily and 10 and 40 week on a weekly right and similarly for monthly but if you don't want to uh, see this or you want to edit them you have the option to add or edit the moving averages so you also can uh, select sma or ema right so if you want to add say for example i also want to see 21 i can do that so keep it to sma and i have a check here and we uh, or and just click on save it will show me additional listing right so that's the option so you can just click on save changes it will appear there so that's the idea behind the chart setting so if somebody wants to do any changes in setting the other thing is uh, while you are here you want to just disable the pattern recognition you can just click on this so the purple thing indicates that the pattern recognition is on but if you want to uh, switch it off you can do that you have the option to print right and you also have the option to share it with your friends right on social uh, media networking sites right so you want to whatsapp or you want to send it on skype etc you can do that also right so that's the option here now many people have asked me what is this gray line this is the nifty 50 if you see on the right hand side we mention it's nifty 50 so this is just to indicate how the index has been doing in comparison to the stock that we are studying right if you see right from here the stock moved from 566 to almost 973 while the market is more or less going sideways so that is what we are trying to study right when the market falls what happened to this stock right so that you can easily compare that the other thing many people don't realize is you would see the pattern so if you want to know more details about the pattern which is visible here all you have to do is just click on the pattern right when you click on the pattern this particular message box um, come box comes up it tells you the high low it tells you everything about the pattern right so if you see here this it tells you which pattern are we talking about so this particular pattern is consolidation it tells you the stage the pivot price what is the pivot price so that was 566.40 which was the prior resistance here right and then it also tells you the length and depth of the chart similarly this one there was another consolidation here here there was a sorry yeah here there is another cup with handle it also tells you this was stage 1 like stage is very important i am sure many people want to know more about stage i would recommend there are some learning articles on stage on our website please read through that we always believe if you are able to enter hi. in the early stages hello hello hi hi sudakar sorry to interrupt uh, i guess we are not able to see your screen oh sorry one second um can you see now yes we can we can okay did it go long, uh, i mean did it go no no just time? just just a couple of seconds back okay yes, okay great thank you very much for pointing this out sorry i didn't realize yes, that yes. okay great thank you so i was just saying if you click on this so it also tells you about uh, the chart pattern which is cup with handle stage 1 pivot is 276 length 16 and depth 40% right so what i was trying to say was stage is very important right so what we have studied from our studies what we have found is if you are able to enter the stock in early stages right one two right it really has a lot more potential than entering at a later stage if you are ideally we don't recommend stocks at say stage 5 and 4 or 5 etc right so that's the idea behind the stage count that we mentioned and definitely something that you should read in our learning section that uh, about stages right so that's another thing that you'll see right so each line here indicates the weekly high low and close here so if you see the high point low point and then there is a uh, line which indicates that the close point 
and the blue dots similarly if you want to see the blue dots you can see if you don't want to you can disable them also if you look at this stock it's a very good cancelling stock i think that's probably primarily why probably our team added this stock also if you see stage 1 it broke out here right a beautiful cup with handle broke out broke out with heavy volumes right so it was pretty good and blue dot also indicated that there is something which you should look for and continuously we have had blue dots then it consolidated a little bit and again there was blue dot here and again it has run up quite a bit right so these are things that you can easily identify on the chart so i know there are people coming to us saying why can't we see different types of chart but that's not what our, see we are we believe in our core um, product right what we have been keen on and it is all this is based on a lot of empirical study and research so we really believe in this particular stock type or, or chart type so that's why we are showing this right i am sure there are many other uh, products showing this or they want to show all types of chart but it just adds to confusion right so you decide which kind of chart you are comfortable with once you are comfortable with a particular chart you are not really going to keep switching every day right so that's the idea behind it so so if once you set yourself on this you will feel that a lot more comfortable with this whole chart pattern a uh, type of chart that we are talking about right so that's the thing so this is on the chart and uh, so these are things that i would really focus on in evaluation but when you go down you will definitely see a lot more things so we have we under details we have all the fundamental and technical data uh, historical data here right so you will see everything possible here you can also see the management team the ownership pattern the top owners uh, the other thing we have introduced is in top owners if any of the key investors like akash chandanwala or somebody is invest, invested in a particular stock you will see a green flag here and the name will also be highlighted i think um, let's say escorts would have that i guess let me just quickly show that yeah there is a green tick mark here which basically tells if you click on it it tells you the rakesh junjunwala holds about 4.75% stake in escorts so that is the idea behind it and if you come down you will also see this in the top owners highlighted in green right so that's the idea behind it um so otherwise we have the ownership pattern management team key ratios here we have also included the pdf reports of annual uh, annual reports and right? you click on this pdf symbol it will open up the annual reports um you want to see more uh fundamental data just click on show more so that gives you the option to see more uh, we have both consolidated and stand alone uh, you can check the income statement balance sheet cash flow statement all of that is available here uh, also uh, uh, the other thing i really like is to see them visually right so you click on this chart symbol here icon here you can see the same data in a visual form as well so it kind of quickly tells you rather than going through the number one by one it tells you okay what's the trend like right so you can quickly see that also and if there is a uptrend or something like that it's easy to identify visually that's the idea we need having all a lot of information on the visual side right so you can click on that and see that as well come down you can also see a peer group analysis so we have the top stocks in financial services sector so which is cdsl is right on top we give you the market cap master score eps rank etc you can click on the column heading to sort them as well so you just have to click on this to sort them any of these you can sort right you can also see all the other stocks which are in the industry in the same industry which is doing well right um if you want to know the complete detail about this industry you can click on that you will also see the complete list of stocks in the industry right and come down you have checklist which we have just gone through we also have estimates for the company right so you have the price estimates the forecast the ratings eps and sales estimate all of that information is available here Uh, we also have some of the broker reports which are published right so you can click on this uh, icon here to read the reports uh, the surveillance like i said we have already gone through this and then we have news as well so all of this is available right in one place but like i said the key is to make sure right on top itself you are able to decide in less than a minute or two saying is it worth spending more time on this stock or not so that is the idea overall idea behind this right so that's where um, this whole uh, page is designed great so you will also see there's this buy and sell signal here this is just in case you want to kind of directly um, see one option is you can manually go into your again log into your uh, dmat account and um, enter this uh, stock name everything manually or if you feel comfortable you can just click on buy or sell here itself so you can uh, we have uh, already linked about eight different brokers here you just have to click on buy option here the first time it will ask you to um, uh, log into your account 
So like, for example, I have my account with Zerodha. I just have to log in here and then I can just place the order here. It's through the uh, app with this product itself instead of opening another place. So that's the idea behind it. But this does not indicate a buy or a sell. It only is a, I mean, a way to execute trades. That's all it is, right? So that's on the evaluation. Now, again, like I said, it's a very powerful thing. It's about the way you really look at it and make sure that right on top, you can quickly figure out saying how much time you want to further spend. I'm not saying right, just because it says everything great, you just have to go and buy now. No, that's not what it is. At least it rules out when the stock is not good, right? So you, it saves a lot of time. We have 5,000 stocks. And how do you really go through each and every stock that you, you hear in the news or read somewhere or from you hear from friends, etc. To avoid all that, I think this is the best thing you can do, right? You just quickly read it and then spend your time on the stocks which you which says that you need to spend more time on. So that's the idea behind it. Now there are like we have been talking about having 5,000 stocks, right? Every now and then. Now, how do you really shortlist the good quality stocks? Now there are multiple ways to do it, right? So that's where our ideal list comes into picture. Now, if you click on ideal list. You have the option to come from here, or you can also come from research tools where you have ideal list evaluation and everything here also, right? So that's another. So India model portfolio we've already gone through, so it's, that is also placed here. But now let's look at other ideal lists. We have growth 50. Now growth 50, for example, is the top 50 stocks that are that we believe are a good growth uh, stocks at any point in time. Now this is a preset list. This is generated every Friday night uh, based on all the screens that we run. We run multiple screens to identify the top 50 stocks which meet the growth parameters, right? There is no human intervention in this. It's purely algorithmically generated. And you will always see there are 50 stocks here, right? So you will see that the top six you are able to see. And if you go down, you can just click on show more and you'll see more, right? Or you can also see in a tabular view altogether and you can click on the um, header to column header to sort as well. You also have the option to export. So just click on export and it'll export this whole thing into Excel. You have the option. Now, obviously there are 50 stocks, not all 50 are going to be worth investing at any point, right? So that is why we have something called as recent additions. You can check the recent additions in this list. You can look at recent removals and you can also see stocks which are nearby point. Now, of the 50, how many st stocks are actually near the buy point? Just four of them, right? So these are the only four stocks which are actually near buy point at this point in time. So that's what it is. So your focus ideally should be on these four stocks, right? So that's the idea behind it. Now, if you want to say, for example, all these are already filtered to make sure that we exclude all the Ill illiquid stocks and penny stocks, et cetera, Right? But even then, if you still want to apply your own filters, all you have to do is just click on this filter here on top right. You click on filter, you the filter settings open up. You have the option to either select based on market smith ratings, uh, technical filters like market cap, percentage of high, of low, right? How far it is from the pivot, right? All this information is available here. Or you can also look at fundamental filters. Right? in terms of sales and EBITDA and margins and ROE, et cetera. Right? So you can select whichever, you can select one or multiple, all that can be selected and just click on save. So what it does it, it will further shortlist and show you stocks, uh, lesser stocks than that for you. So that will help you to kind of further uh, funnel it to the key stocks that you should spend your time on. So that's the idea behind this, right? So growth 50 is one. But yeah, so all of this, the, short, the filter export is uh, a tabular view. All this is common across the uh, preset idea list. But what is important, you should also know that there are many, many more uh, preset lists here. For I mean, why we have so many? Because each person has um, his or her own uh, approach towards investing, right? So you want to see, say, maybe... IPOs, somebody wants to see value stocks, somebody wants to see growth stocks, somebody wants to see high dividend stocks, right? So all of that we have tried to kind of have preset lists. So if you click on this market Smith stock screen, you will see that this is a blue dot list. So all stocks which are, which have blue dot are all placed here. Uh, I was talking about high uh, top rated IPOs are here. You have top Indian investors, right? So if you want to know the investors like Jhunjhunwala and the stocks they own, all that is also available here. 
many people have asked about saying okay how do i know uh, when is the stock uh, announcing its results now see if if the company has announced that they're going to announce their results say probably next week right say a particular date say june 15 all that will appear in the upcoming earnings screen right so that's how it works you click on this so you know that these are stocks which are going to announce their earnings or results in the next couple of days so there are about 115 stocks here so you can see that mother sansumi for example all these stocks mutut finance right all these guys are going to announce the eps and it also tells you the date so mother sansumi is announcing on 2nd june that's today so that is how you can see and if you also for example you on the evaluation also if you click on mother sansumi right on top it tells you eps due today so this is how you know that the company is going to announce its results or if it's not today then it will give you the date but obviously it is updated only for the next couple uh, couple of weeks right because many companies may not have announced yet so if we don't if the company has not announced we also don't have the information we will not update and also we are, there, there is a high likelihood that they keep postponing etc right so what we do is we only include the last uh, the, the following 2 3 weeks so that's the idea behind it similarly if you want to know the stocks which have already announced their earnings you can look at this earnings announced so this gives you list of stocks which uh, have an already announced their earnings so that's another one uh, you are keen on knowing all the stocks which are breaking out today this is the this is the uh, this is a place right so recent breakouts pivots near pivot stocks stocks which are up on volume many of us want to know which are the stocks which are up on volume right you want to know why the stocks which are really up on volume because those are the stocks where probably a lot of institutions are playing etc right so that's another way of doing it so there are about 115 stocks which are up on volume right again high div dividend uh, many of us want to look at dividend stocks so here it is the income stocks which basically mean the high dividend stocks again similarly we have lot of others so all these are inbuilt uh mark mirandney stem trend template which is another very famous one right many people follow him and uh, want to know what is uh, his kind of stocks are so that's another one we have mark mirandney's trend template for one month and five months right so these are all inbuilt so you should definitely take advantage of this depending on what kind of uh, investor you are right so we have all the list here you have the option to export filter like i said all this can be done and another good thing you can do is if you are in say for example you clicked on the first stock right you can actually have you have the option to cl actually uh, click on this arrow to move to the next stock right so either you can do that or you can use the up and down arrow on your keyboard to move move up and down right so that also can be done so those are options you have to move uh, between the stocks the other thing is if you are on the a mobile you can actually just swipe through also the list so you can keep moving from one to another so that's another option that you have right so you have the option to do all of this right so i mean this actually saves a lot of time for many of our uh, investors so they, they have really uh, in fact they asked us to include that so that's why we included that um, swipe option right so those are stalls and um, so this is about inbuilt screens uh, coming down there are some market related ones the first one is the many of us i think this was on um, demand from our customer many people wanted to know the ranks for all the industries so we classify all the industry groups into 195 197 different smaller industry groups right and you can see that we have listed them all the number of stocks in each of these the rank current rank last week all that so that you can you can actually know if the stock the, the industry is trending etc right and if you want to see which are the companies say for example i want to know which are the companies or i first i can click on this and see the chart itself how the industry is been trending and you can also crawl down to see the charts in the industry now these are the stocks in the industry sorry not chart so if you see these are the 10 stocks and uh, forming part of this industry group so you can identify which one which one is really good uh, in terms of say for example you want to know in terms of master score which is the best so gujarat gas looks like the best stock at this point in in this industry right so that's the idea to do it right so you have this as well um so after this industry group under markets we also have listed down many other things um like for example key indices all the nsc indices we have in included here so if you want to know cnx 500 it's in nifty 
how they are performing and which are the stock now you, again you want to see the constituents of nifty 50 you can do that as well just click on the name you will get it to get to the evaluation page and click on the stocks and you will see the complete set of stocks as well right so you, if you want to see ever see the nifty 50 stock this is the way to do it right okay after nifty we have a couple of other important things that many many people on a day to day basis track we have the future futures and options ban list from nsc we have the bulk and block deals right uh, we have the gsm and asm list as well so all these are available here so if at all you are interested in any of these you can quickly look at it. i think today um, we we are another thing that we are adding is delivery data right so the so that's another thing which will come up um, i think uh, most likely we will be able to release it uh between today and tomorrow so you under markets you will see there will be delivery data as well right so that's another thing that we are featuring so list so the complete delivery data and even in the evaluation you will be able to see the information about uh, the uh, delivery percentage versus traded right so that's another thing that you're looking now the other one is guru screens obviously these are also very powerful uh, we've discussed this in evaluation but you want to know which are the stocks which are i mean there we spoke about individual stocks saying do they meet Uh, Warren Buffett uh, parameters are not, but if you want to see all the stocks which meet ba Benjamin Graham's uh, uh, parameters, you just have to click on this. Right, so that's the idea. Or if you want to see stocks appearing in multiple Guru list, you can click on this. Right, so those are also very powerful. Now Peter Lynch, you have a list of stocks here, uh, about eight stocks which are meeting his parameters on on uh, I mean all his parameters currently. Right, so that's the idea behind it. okay so these are all preset so based on index based on um, market uh, based on indices or based on themes right all that is available but what if you are still not happy and you want to really build your own screen now that's where you to come here right if you want to build your own screen you just have to click on filter india stocks right so it will so this is something some filter that i have applied but you can just click on this as usual you can set whatever parameters you are talking about and click on save changes and it you can actually shortlist the stocks that you are keen on so this 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 is like a full universe others are obviously preset so they will they will always remove all the illiquid and less uh, penny stocks and low market cap stocks etc but this gives you the full universe from which you can filter out whatever is relevant to you so that is the idea behind filter india stocks right so that's on the filter and again so another thing that i feel is uh, very powerful is to use my list right now what happens is all of us have our own portfolio right for example i have my own portfolio so i click on this my portfolio section here under research tools you have something called as my portfolio right so say for example i have um, say about 10 stocks that i am invested in and what is the best way to probably track them on a day to day basis right now we have realized that in like less than a minute i can quickly go over the data graph or the evaluation page to identify the good bad ugly about a particular stock now if i want to kind of do that on a day to day basis what i actually do is just click on this plus symbol and create a portfolio of my own right you can give a name and add right so you can do all of that you can edit delete etc and then what happens is i create this whole portfolio of mine right and what i do is Uh, if you are uncomfortable uh, adding it one by one and because you have a bigger list you can also import the transaction but just make sure that it is in the format in which the sample file is provided you right you can just click on this um, and just we accept only uh, local symbol bsc or nsc uh, obviously names are very tricky right every uh, everybody names it differently somebody will say private uh, a limited somebody will say ltd etc right so it it doesn't help us to kind of map it correctly so use the local symbol and once you have done that you have the option to import the transaction so you can import it and it will appear like this and once you once it appears you have a full table with with all the data that like, uh, the average buy price current price etc days gain overall gain you also have the ratings for these stocks the fundamental data for this stock right technicals so all this you can see in a tabular format or you can click on the first stock and every morning what i do is uh, like this is my portfolio uh, i go into my portfolio every morning i i just glance through on probably on the bre breakfast table i just quickly sit through and have a quick view of all the stocks so it kind of tells me quickly okay this one is close to break out right so some stock it might say okay this is gone this is this might find some resistance at the um 
say at the moving average, I think it's the 10-day uh, moving average. So it looks like there's going to be some resistance here. If it can move beyond these, then it might be interesting to look at this. It also tells you, okay, are these stocks, so if you see there is a huge volume spike here, right, from in the initial day to till 2019, the volumes were much lower. So I am able to quickly track saying what is happening to the stocks in my portfolio. So I just have to, if there are 10 stocks, I just have to spend, spend say maybe less than 10 minutes to quickly go swipe through these stocks. And uh, it, I'm kind of prepared for the day. And similarly, I can do the same exercise post-market hours to say, okay, fine, how does it look now? Right. So that's the idea behind this. So this is another interesting tool and you can create multiple portfolios. So for example, I have so because this is my test account, a lot of customers also keep sending me things. So you will see that there are many, but yes, that's the idea behind it, right? So I can create multiple portfolios or I can create my watch list and another one for my portfolio. So you have all the options to do that, right? So if there are stocks which are under your watch list and you want to add them, so that's another portfolio. And then there is your actual current portfolio. You can add that also. So all that options are available, right? So yeah, so this is probably what I think yeah, we are bang on time. So this is probably what I want to cover. The other important thing you should definitely look at is the market pulse. Always make sure that you check this also, right? If the market is in a confirm, we classify, it's a very objective way of classifying the market condition. So what we do is we classify them into four different, um, what you call uh, status. And currently it's obviously confirmed uptrend, we, we, uh, all of us are aware. But what our studies have said is four, three out of four stocks follow the market. Right? So if the market is in a downtrend, we normally do not recommend too many stocks. And we suggest that you be on the sidelines and protect your capital. Right, That's the idea behind it. But if the market is in a confirmed uptrend, I think that's probably the time you should go all out. Right? So when there is a follow through day and etc. Right? So if you want to see this, the whole history is available here by clicking on view history. Right? So you can actually see that when when actually we uh, think 29th March, uh, 29th April is when we can change the market status to confirmed uptrend. The other are uptrend under pressure, rally attempt, and downtrend. So that's another thing that you can actually look. The full history is available right from the day we started our product here in India. Right? All of that is available. Right? So this is another one. Also on the home page, you will see a couple of other things. Just go to the home page. Uh, we saw the market puzzle. You can also see the index, how it's performing today. Right? Uh, model portfolio alerts are included here. These are the stocks which are in buy zone and buy watch list. So these are stocks. And you want to see the others, you just click on more and you can see others as well, right? These are stocks on the move, stocks which are up in price, down in price, gets updated real time. So you can see those also, right? And if you go down, you can see the stock market commentaries, investors corners, where you will get to learn, the, you can read the weekly uh, article, that learning article that we spoke about. Um, many, like I said, you want to know which are the stocks which are uh, uh, reporting their earnings. This is where it is. You can also find it here, upcoming earnings report. You can also look at economic activities. That's also getting updated real time here, right? All the research reports, a lot of seminars we keep conducting. So if you are interested, please make sure you register here, right? And if you want to see the old webinars and all that, uh, that's also available here, right? And uh, that's primarily what I had. Um, so I think we have covered most of it under the research tools. Um, these, this is where we have the reports. Under research, you will see reports. Um, a new thing, this is called MSI stories that we launched very recently. Um, we, we send out a quick note uh, on any stock that is trending, right? For example, Berger Paints, right? So we, uh, if you see this Berger Paints, Garwal Technical, right? Garwal Technical, Sonata Software, all these, this is another thing that you should definitely keep your eye on. Uh, we, this is our take on each of these stocks. So we send out uh, on a daily basis, we send out any stock that is trending, we write a note and send it out. So all that is available here. If you have your app notifications on, you will see it on your app as well. Otherwise, you can come here under research. MSI Stories is the place. Yearbooks, again, every year we publish this. So you can check out this yearbooks also. This is a good way to study last year's good performing stock and learn a thing or two from that to implement for the coming year. Right. So that's the idea behind publishing this report every year. Our analyst team would review, end of the year, they will review the all the good quality stocks from previous year and actually set, send out a report. And we also have a wall chart, which is a very interesting one. I don't know if you guys, if any of you have seen it. Um, this covers the full history, right? 
ideally uh, we have it we, like the name literally says wall chart i mean it's placed in our office also on the wall uh, it actually covers the indian stock market from 1975 to 2018 right and we are updating now for to till 2020 so soon we will have that also so here this will cover from politics to macro to micro to stock market everything is covered gold how things have moved everything is covered so you can zoom in and read this when you have some time so that's another thing um so learn is definitely something i would want many of you to spend time on because you will see that there are a lot of videos uh, product demo videos or top specific topic related to our related to our methodology right a lot of you can also see the good quality books uh, that help uh, in terms of growth investing right so all of this is available um so that's another thing obviously if you have any doubts on the product itself uh, under support you can see that um one other thing which is very handy is you can click on this um chat with us option right so this will um, obviously this is uh, not going to give you a full fledged solution but some in like i always said instant uh, response is always better than delayed right? so if you're looking for something and you don't know what exactly it is you can actually quickly click here or type or you can just select and it will tell you uh, what are the uh, i mean it will lead you to the place where i mean for example obviously there's so there's so much data here content here and you don't know where to search for it all you have to do is just type here so somebody says okay what's blue dot you just have to say type blue dot here and it will tell you where exactly it is with a small note so you just click on it and it will take you to that place and so that's the idea this is also a powerful thing that many of our uh, users use regularly so maybe you can uh, try that out right so fact frequently asked questions all this is also available so you should definitely spend some time here so yeah i mean yeah that's primarily what i wanted to cover um maybe we will open it up for some questions and uh, from there we'll see uh, uh maybe what is exactly 12 12 i mean one hour and maybe we'll take uh, 15 20 minutes of questions to make sure we are able to answer as many as possible okay i think i guess uh, okay it's 12 30 and i guess we have covered most of what we have discussed uh, but again like i said i think this keeps moving around the scroll is probably not the best way to do it uh, great himal has already given the email id also you can please um, feel free to drop us a mail on marketsmithindia@williamoneilindia or you can write to us at support@marketsmithindia.com uh, right once this is um, there we will quickly um, i mean give us some time because there may be way too many questions um, because of uh, the large audience today so in the next couple of days we will definitely get back to each one of you on your queries great okay thank you very much it was great uh, talking to you all um, a lot of good feedback for us as well so this helps in further enhancing our product so thank you very much for doing that also any additional feedback you have please feel free to drop us a mail and i will definitely look at it just give cooperate with us give us some time so we can uh, we'll try and add them as early as possible depending on our bandwidth and feasibility right great thank you very much again and uh, have a great day ahead bye bye